Gather now on the inside, Viander Cross has come very wide after him and they were followed by Mannerism coming home well and then came Equidity, it's Viander Cross out wide, Gather now near the inside and Mannerism in the centre, clear of Equidity, Viander Cross the outside has taken the lead in the cup now from Mannerism and then Gather now and Equidity, Viander Cross in front of Mannerism, Viander Cross answering the urgings of Shane Dyer head in front, Mannerism coming at him, Viander Cross maybe a nose to Mannerism who's booted right on the line and made it close. Just a breath in it. Eight's got it. Mannerism has got it. Number eight, Mannerism has got the photo right on the post. Number eight, Mannerism, D. Oliver. Prince Salieri first for home from Ivory Way, Dr. Grace in the centre. Then Lord Revenant, Mantelpiece and Royal Creation from Let's Elope. Ivory Way in front, Dr. Grace coming at it, Royal Creation looking for the way clear. And wider out is Lord Revenant, Prince Salieri, but Ivory Way still in front of Royal Creation. Let's Elope down the outside, Royal Creation and Ivory Way from Let's Elope. It's Royal Creation, Ivory Way and Let's Elope, they hit the lone photo. 17 gets it, but won it again. Let's Elope. This lightly raced mare with the magic polish of Bart Cummings giving Bart his sixth victory in the race. Let's elope. Now coming back in. Lights of Heaven, sneak a peek, and Zabillionaire nowhere to go. Glenn Cadam Gold leads. December draws after him. My Quest for Peace comes through in the middle and then Secret and Myra Zabillionaire and Alco Pop down the outside. 200 to go. My Quest for Peace hit the lead. Alco Pop winds up. Elko Pop charges to the lead now with 150 to go. Here's Dunedin and American coming. Elko Pop in front of the 100, but Dunedin swallows him up. Dunedin, the Melbourne Cup winner, comes back to win the Caulfield Cup from Elko Pop. This horse is remarkable. He does remarkable things. You know, he's broken records today with the first allocated top weight ever to win the Caulfield Cup in how many years? 150, is it? Um, he's just extraordinary. Then Helene Vitality, here comes Fields of Omar from Hale and Republic Lass. Northerly has taken the lead, coming around the turn. Freemason is with him. Wider out the second mortgage and Fields of Omar. And the further back is Helene Vitality. Northerly down to the 200. Charles pulled the whip. He's the leader from Freemason. Fields of Omar's coming down the outside. And then came Republic Lass. Northerly in front with 100 metres to go. Fields of Omar, Republic Lass are closing. Northerly in front. Fields of Omar. Omar tries hard northerly, northerly! Yeah. How did you feel when you turned for home? You knew he won't stop. I knew he wouldn't stop, but just the concern with the big weight and something blazing us. But uh, fights like a tiger. Great horse, great trainer. Great crowd. <laughs> All right. And Skybo, one of the last. Might and Power still has the lead. Coming to the turn at the 500. A length in front of De Rebay. Always aloof has called on for the run on the outside. Marble Halls has nowhere to go. Back on the rails. Round the turn now. And Might and Power shot about two and a half in front. Always aloof chasing hard. And then came Ebony Grove coming down the outside. Might and Power well clear at the 200 metre mark. He's gone out by four lengths. It looks all over. Marble Halls is running on on the inside followed by Istadad and now Doreen is coming home but Might and Power has gapped them in the Caulfield Cup what a win, he's won it by seven lengths it's a stunning victory and all the way win, he made them look second rate, it's been all Might and Power a super win, a super victory by this horse number 13, Might and Power Jim Cassidy has made the Caulfield Cup his own